Welcome to the Brave New World Order. What I try and do at my blog is something I call synchromysticism. I describe it as the art of finding meaningful coincidence in the seemingly mundane with mystical or esoteric significance. This short video will try and explain this process. For example, is this merely an innocent, mundane movie poster or perhaps a veiled message? Look at the negative space. Is there something hidden here? Now we can see three pillars with more light behind the middle pillar. Can we see this motif in other places? This image is the first degree Masonic tracing board. Notice the light emanating from the eye above the middle pillar. Compare this design to the World Trade Center poster. Here we see the three pillars again in Da Vinci's The Last Supper. Here they're like windows with the light, Jesus, right in the middle pillar. Golden Dawn member Israel Regardi, a famous occultist and secretary of Aleister Crowley, he knew about the middle pillar. Here we have another 9-11 themed film poster. A mere advertisement to promote a film or occult and esoteric symbolism? Let's see. The three pillars of masonry or the three pillars of the Kabbalistic tree? And this cleverly done with the giant goddess statue of Isis in New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty. Can you see the perfect triangle embedded in the United 93 poster? Can you see the light emanating from behind the middle pillar? Highlighting it again. We can now see that both the two major 9-11 themed films that Hollywood have produced thus far have both the three pillars with the highlighted middle pillar theme expressed in their design. The outline of Jesus in Da Vinci's The Last Supper also forms a triangle or pyramid. What do pyramids and triangles have to do with the World Trade Center? Are these just mundane coincidences woven together by the author for his own nefarious deeds or is there more at play here? Let's explore the issue some more. An overhead view of the Twin Towers and World Trade Center complex and the Pyramids of Giza reveal the symmetry between the Twin Towers and the two Great Pyramids of Giza. A profile view of the World Trade Center complex 1, 2, and 7 shows their relative sizes. One is the tallest with its antenna. 2 is the second tallest and almost the same size as the first one. The third World Trade Center 7 is much smaller. This is the same setup at Giza. A profile shot of Giza reveals the two great pyramids almost equal in size, one greater, and the third pyramid much smaller. This is the same as the World Trade Center. Another look at the first degree tracing board will reveal that the pillars represented on this image is again the same as the Pyramids of Giza and the World Trade Center. Two almost equal, one bigger, and a third much smaller than the first two. Indeed, writers like Ralph Ellis have already made the connection between the Pyramids and the first degree tracing board's pillars. I believe we can add the World Trade Center to the same symbolic symbol system, meaning that the World Trade Center becomes analogous to the pyramids and the first degree tracing board. This is the statue, spherical caryatid, which used to stand in between the twin towers. This giant bronze sculpture was intended by the World Trade Center Plaza designers to represent the Kaaba at Mecca. Inside the Kaaba is a holy relic the black stone, a sacred object to the Muslim faithful. The ovoid stone is considered by some researchers like Ralph Ellis to be perhaps the original Ben Ben stone from Heliopolis in Egypt, connecting again the Kaaba to the pyramids of Giza. Perhaps the circular design of the sphere 
is connected to the ovoid shape of the black rock inside the Kaaba. Perhaps the sphere is also a representation of the black stone inside the Kaaba, the possible Benben of Heliopolis. Another way of connecting the World Trade Center buildings and 9-11 to Freemasonry and Egypt is by assessing the symbolism of this image. I scanned this image from a third degree certificate I bought at a flea market. It shows the three candles that you would find in Masonic lodges on top of the primordial mound rising from the chaotic waters of the void as in the Egyptian creation myth. The three candles are obviously connected to the three pillars of the first degree tracing board. There is another place where we can see three pillars on top of a mound or island rising out of the ocean. That place was Manhattan Island before 9-11. Can we connect all these themes together in popular Hollywood movies? Can we find all the themes discussed thus far? Higher consciousness expressed by the middle pillar, 9-11, and pyramids all connected together in a synchromistic fashion. In the 1982 film by John Carpenter, Escape from New York, we see the president's plane flying towards the New York skyline. We also see Kurt Russell as Snake Plissken landing his glider on the roof of the World Trade Center. So we see snake on a plane flying towards the World Trade Center. We saw the snakes and the plane combined again in 2006 in Snakes on a Plane. Notice how the coiling snakes around the plane form a caduceus, Hermes' staff. The staff of Hermes, like the radiating middle pillar in the Tree of Life or the Kabbalah tree, are symbols of higher consciousness. The coiling serpents representing the kundalini energy rising up the spine up to the third eye chakra. In the movie Stargate we see Kurt Russell who now resonates synchromistically with Snake Plissken from Escape from New York going through the Stargate. Notice he is the first person to go through the Stargate. And where does this character show up, who now resonates with both a person who flies towards the World Trade Center and goes through a stargate? Why, he ends up right between two pillars and an Egyptian-style pyramid. That's where. In the mechanics of synchromysticism, the synchronicities between the Stargate film and Escape from New York and Snakes on a Plane confirms our suspicions about the World Trade Center and the Pyramids of Giza. The presence of the Stargate in that interconnected mishmash of synchromysticism also points towards the concept of higher intelligence and cosmic illumination that I find replete in investigation of 9-11. In fact, the Stargate in my work is merely a metaphor for cosmic illumination and vice versa. You can read more about what I call the Pyramid Mega Ritual of 9-11 and other conspiracy theories investigated synchromistically at my blog, thebravenewworldorder.blogspot.com. Thank you.